Let's do a few more ratio problems before you do some more on your own today. Okay, so I have a couple different ratio tables here. I'm going to be looking at those and filling in the missing values. Okay, I'm going to be filling in the missing values of these ratio tables. So let's take a look at the first one, butterflies to flowers. So it says that there are two butterflies to every seven flowers. Two butterflies to every seven flowers. The next number is 14. So I went from seven to 14. So I know that I, that I could have actually added seven here. Seven plus seven is 14. So I could do two plus two to get four. I also could have known that seven times two is 14. I could have done two times two is four. Remember, whatever you're doing on the bottom, you're gonna do the same. If you're adding, you're gonna add the same value that you started with at the beginning. If you're multiplying, you're gonna multiply by the same number on the top and the bottom. So let's take a look down here at the next one. For nickels to dimes, if I have six nickels for every 11 dimes, Right? From 6 to 12, I've doubled. I doubled 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. If I'm doubling, if I'm adding, I'm going to have to double the 11 plus 11. 11 plus 11 is 22. So that I have 22 that's left in that ratio table. Okay, let's take a look at number 3, apples to oranges. Okay, apples to oranges. We'll get different colors. So here on this ratio table, it says I have five apples to every six oranges. Five apples to every six oranges. And I went from six to 12 here. So it looks like I'm going to add another group of six. Six plus six gets me to 12. So that means I need to add another group of apples. Five plus five. That's going to give me 10 apples. 10 apples to every 12 oranges. Now I so move from... All right, so here we have a group of five to add to the ten, to get to six again, to get to twelve. So let's see, it looks like I can add another group of five to get from ten to sixteen. I'm going to add another group of six here, and I'm going to add another group of six down here. All right, so twelve plus six gets me twenty-eight. So I have fifteen apples to every eighteen oranges. Again, this is my ratio, of ten to eighteen. 10 to 12 is a ratio, and 5 to 6 is a ratio of apples to oranges. Let's try one more example. All right, so here I have 8 carrots to every 3 cucumbers. 8 carrots to every 3 cucumbers. I'm going from 8 to 16. Again, I'm going to just add another group of 8 here. And down here, I'm going to add another group of 3. When we're adding, we're adding that same quantity that we started with, and we always add the same amount. So I got 3 plus is going to give me six cucumbers to every 16 carrots. I'm going to add another group of eight to get to the next line. 16 plus eight more, that gives me 24. And six plus three more, that gives me nine. So I could also have 24 carrots to nine cucumbers. Those are our ratios. All right, so that's how we're going to practice those types of 